For decades, plans for a canal running parallel to Egypt's Suez Canal have been proposed by various parties but never realized. However, the project has now resurfaced amid rising tensions between Israel and Palestine. Israel recently announced renewed ambitions to move forward with its $55 billion plan to construct a canal from the Mediterranean Sea to the Gulf of Aqaba. This canal could have significant geopolitical ramifications, diverting important shipping business away from Egypt's critical Suez Canal trade artery. With the ongoing conflict in Gaza at the canal's proposed epicenter, questions arise around Israel's ability to control this territory and the underlying motives driving the long controversial infrastructure mega project. If successfully completed, the canal could expand Israel's regional influence over trade flows between Europe and Asia. Yet experts warn it risks stoking economic tensions with Egypt and disrupting major Chinese shipping initiatives. The 120-mile Suez Canal has stood as one of the most strategically and economically vital artificial waterways in the world following its opening in 1869. Stretching between Port Said on the Mediterranean Sea to the northern end of the Red Sea, the canal revolutionized maritime trade, creating a shipping shortcut between Europe and Asia. This successfully reduced lengthy and treacherous alternate routes around the southern tip of Africa. Today, approximately 10% of all global trade, 1 million barrels of oil per day, and 8% of worldwide liquid natural gas supplies traverse the Suez Canal each year, cementing its ranking as the world's seventh busiest trade artery. The annual revenue generated from ships transiting exceeded $5.5 billion in 2021. Given Egypt's heavy economic reliance on these revenues, the prospect of a new Israeli canal siphoning off the shipping business poses a substantial financial threat, risking billions in annual income. From a military perspective, Egypt also depends on the Suez to enable naval access and transport between the Red Sea and Mediterranean waters. The man-made channel has additionally provided historical strategic leverage over other countries vying for faster access to Asia. However, given restrictions on the size of vessels able to transit the relatively shallow canal, supplemental routes may increasingly be required to accommodate ever larger container ships and tankers that ferry the world's consumer goods and energy supplies. The origins of Israel's envisioned canal date back to the 19th century, when the British proposed or explored the feasibility of potential alternative routes between the Mediterranean Sea and the Indian Ocean to augment trade and naval movements. In 1955, British Admiral and explorer William Allen backed plans for a canal to directly connect the Gulf of Aqaba and the Dead Sea with the Mediterranean Sea, after witnessing the strategic value of such access points during World War II. This specific course was viewed as a less expensive and challenging digging alternative at the time versus the Suez route, given portions were overland, with more viable elevation changes through mountainous terrain. Over subsequent decades, the idea for a secondary passage resurfaced several times. The United States revisited options in the 1960s to counter rising regional tensions, specifically to secure alternate access between the Mediterranean and Red Sea, independent from Egyptian control. By establishing a new canal free from potential disruption, ships could circumvent limitations, blockades, or arbitrary fees imposed on vessels transiting through the Suez. Interest and explorations gained momentum with Israel's establishment of Eilat Ashkelon Pipeline Company to construct a crude oil pipeline in the late 1960s, hugging the historical maritime trade contours along the Gulf of Aqaba's coastline. In 1994, decades of plans and proposals culminated with the formerly proclaimed Peace Canal Initiative, led by Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin and King Hussein of Jordan. However, following Rabin's assassination, the collaborative Jordan-Israeli Canal Project stalled. Instead, Israel continued independent planning, budgeting, and surveying efforts, which ultimately set the current course for the Israeli Canal first put forth in 2014, aptly renamed the Ben-Gurion Canal after Israel's founding father and first prime minister. If executed as currently planned at an estimated budget of $55 billion, Israel's 293-kilometer canal would stand nearly 100 kilometers longer than Egypt's Suez Canal.
If constructed as envisioned, the Ben Gurion Canal would dwarf Egypt's 120 mile Suez Canal and represent one of history's most ambitious infrastructure endeavors. Covering over 180 miles, the proposed waterway would stretch from the Israeli coast along the Mediterranean Sea near Haifa down along the Gaza border into Israel's southern Negev Desert. The canal path would then cut east, traversing the Arava Valley floor between the Dead Sea and the Gulf of Aqaba. Engineers have outlined options to leverage existing segments of the Jordan River as well as reservoirs like the Sea of Galilee to help supply the estimated 13 billion cubic meters of seawater needed to fill the canal. The Ben Gurion's scale and capacity would eclipse all historical canals. Designed to accommodate supertankers and the largest ocean going vessels afloat, the canal channel and ports measure an estimated 50 meters, 165 feet, deep by 200 to 250 meters wide, nearly double the Suez Canal's proportions. By leveraging state of the art dredging to carve through Israeli coastal plains and land bridges separating bodies of water, no locks or elevation gates would be required, enabling faster traffic flow. The canal could simultaneously ferry vessels in both directions, eliminating bottlenecks and wait times associated with Egypt's narrow single-lane conduit plagued by poor visibility, limited passing options, and sand accumulation issues. Conservative forecasts predict the Israeli canal could ferry four times the tonnage and revenue compared to the Suez, serving up to 30% of world trade with over $5 billion in annual profits flowing by 2030. Despite Israel's advanced engineering and infrastructure capabilities, realizing the canal's potential poses immense geopolitical complexities, with Gaza representing the most pivotal impediment. Due to Gaza's strategic positioning along Israel's southern Mediterranean coastline, the 25-mile territory sits squarely within the most efficient proposed path for the Israeli canal. Constructing the waterway along Gaza's perimeter would enable significantly shorter transit times and enhanced military security compared to alternatives that bend the canal around Gaza's northern edge. Hugging Gaza's border would also allow leverage of existing above-ground trenches and cravens to hate in construction. By controlling Gaza, Israel could dictate land rights and territorial access to expedite the building of the canal's critical 60-meter concrete, retaining walls and fortress-like perimeter security infrastructure, while neutralizing risks if the canal falls within the range of Hamas's rockets. Without wresting control of Gaza from Hamas, alternative paths would tack on nearly 50 miles to the canal's length. Costs could balloon by over $15 billion while added hours of sailing time around Gaza would erode the competitive speed advantage over the Suez route that shipping companies desire. However, realizing Israel's lofty canal vision appears inextricably linked to first resolving the Gazan conflict and Palestinian question, neither of which have easy solutions after decades of failed peace negotiations and ever-growing divides. While incentives exist to improve economic prosperity for Gazans through infrastructure integration or the growth of canal cities, distrust runs high. Ultimately, if the canal bypasses Gaza, the region risks losing strategic relevance and leverage while remaining saddled in poverty and instability. Thus, the canal could become both a bargaining chip and a blueprint for finally catalyzing a break in the stale status quo. While Israel touts the Ben Gurion's potential for bolstering trade and reducing pressures on congested shipping routes, experts warn of far-reaching ripple effects if the mega-project advances from the blueprint to reality. Beyond upending vital income streams for Egypt, the diversion of vessels from Suez to an Israeli canal risks hampering growth projections tied to Egypt's commitment to supporting the Belt and Road Initiative and expansions on the Mediterranean aimed at transforming Port Said into a top regional shipping hub. Redirection of trade flows, vessels, and toll revenues from Egypt towards Israel may exacerbate regional tensions as well, given Egypt's heavy economic reliance on uninterrupted Suez traffic. However, from a global perspective, by providing a faster, safer, politically stable shipping alternative, the Israeli canal could mitigate risks surrounding recent Suez disruptions while facilitating economic gains if lower transit fees apply.
Yet for world powers like China, having an alternate Israeli-controlled route also reduces geographic dependencies and associated vulnerabilities. No singular country or shipping coalition united under China's Belt and Road could readily pressure or choke off Asian-bound trade in case of conflicts. On the other hand, such diffusion of control over key choke points like the Suez, Malacca, and Hormuz also diminishes China's ability to wield wider economic influence. But experts assess the risks surrounding unchecked impacts of an Israeli canal could unleash regional disputes over fishing rights, refugees, water security, and territorial control, potentially on a scale jeopardizing China's broader initiatives. While plans now accelerate for Israel's Ben Gurion Canal, many strategic questions and potential global consequences remain unanswered, way in below on whether you feel Israel should forge ahead with construction in the years ahead, or if stability concerns should scuttle the mega project. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and check the other videos on this channel.